Gear with Guitar Lessons here, and today we talk about the Mama I'm Coming Home solo. Now they tune down a half step for this song, and they play it in E. But I'm going to be showing it to you in E flat, so I'm in standard tuning, to, so that way you can play along with the record. All right. Now this one's essentially four phrases, and he only uses three different positions. So let's listen to that first phrase. <laughs> Now this one's taking place in my G major pentatonic position right there. My pinky is on the 11th fret, 6th string, that's, that's going to be E flat. So if you're playing this in uh, drop down a half step, you just move everything up one fret. Anyways, I'm going to be going 8, 10 on the 4th string, 8 on the 3rd string, 10 on the 4th string, 8 on the 3rd string, and then bend up on the 10th fret, 3rd string. Now I'm using my pinky on the first string, 11th fret, and my third finger on the 11th fret, second string. I'm gonna be bending up only on the second string. So I'm gonna leave my third finger up there, hit those two strings again, move my third finger down, descend that bend, and then pull off to the ninth fret on the second string. Then I'm gonna be hitting just the 11th fret, ninth fret, and then ninth, 11th, ninth, on the second string, and then eighth fret on the second string, kind of right back to my pentatonic position. So the only note that's out of that right there is just that ninth fret. Everything else is right in that pentatonic position. And now he's just going to repeat that same lick again. All right, here's the second phrase. All right, now he's gonna start out basically the exact same way. Eight to 10 on the fourth string, eight on the third string, 10 on the fourth string, and then eighth fret on the third string. He's gonna let that one hang a little bit longer this time. Now he's gonna bend up on the 10th fret, third string, and then descend that bend. Hold off to the eighth fret on the third string. Then hit that 10th fret on the 3rd string again. Now the 3rd phrase... He starts off on the same position, so he just is hitting the 8th fret on the 3rd string, then he immediately jumps up to the 13th fret on the 1st string. Now here, we're going to be doing this, this series of bends and pull-offs. So he's gonna bend twice on the 13th fret, first string, and then pull, and then hammer on and pull off the 11th, the 13th back to 11th on the first string. Now he's gonna bend up and descend that bend on the 13th fret, pull off to the 11th fret, and then hit the 13th fret. And the final phrase is going to be happening in my C major pentatonic shape scale. So I'm thinking about the E flat here on the 18th fret, fifth string, I'll be bending up on the 18th fret, so the same fret as my root note on the second string. And then we're going back to the 15th fret, and then be going 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. Now this is just a chromatic movement between two different notes of the, of the major pentatonic shape. So there's my pentatonic shape, and all I do is just kind of filling in uh, go between those two notes right there. And now he's going to be bending up on that 18th fret right there. Now here's the tricky part. He's bending up, and then he's catching it with his second finger, or the second string right there. So he's descending that bend on the second string. So he's kind of doing midway through that bend, he's switching strings. And then he's going back to the 16th fret, and then 17th fret on the uh, third string. And then back to the 16th fret on the second string again. So that one part with the with kind of that midway switch on that bend. Then the lick as a whole. Now 
This is a great solo full of rock cliches. It can really help kind of get our phrasing and that sort of rock feel down. Be sure to listen and play along with them on when he's bending up, when he's doing hammer rounds and pull-offs. And uh, these licks are going to be movable to all sorts of different keys. And I'm sure you'll be hearing them in a lot of different solos that you cover. Anyways, here's the solo as a whole. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Check out GearsGuitarLessons.com for more free lessons and resources and a PDF version of this tab right there. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time.